Hello everyone. Welcome to Epson service training class. I'm a service engineer at Epson. This class is to bring you a demonstration of replacing IC driver MBI 5353. Repair tools include solder wires, tweezers, soldering iron, heat gun, anti-static bracelet, the first step of maintenance, remove the IC first. I'm using the Gaudi 952 heat gun. The wind speed is adjusted to fourth gear. Adjust the temperature to 390 Celsius degree. Heat the IC from the front of IC about two minutes. During the heating process, we can move the heat gun gently to make the heat even. Okay, this IC has been removed. After removing the IC, we need to use a soldering iron and solder wire to clean the PCB pad. Reminder here that don't put much solder in the middle of the pad. After cleaning the pad, or we use tweezers to pick up a new IC, put it to the right position. When the IC is put on, confirm that the direction of the new IC is consistent with the surrounding ICs. Then we use heat gun to blow the front of the IC. Same temperature and parameters as IC removal. Heat evenly. The time is also about two minutes. When the solder is completely melted, we use tweezers to gently toggle the IC to make it has enough contact with PCB. It will move back to the right position. That's the welding has been completed. We move the heat gun away. The repair operations has been completed. After five minutes of cooling, we can test the module. If color patches or color strips appear, Resolder will be needed. If red, green, blue, white, oblique sweep are all good, then the, this IC replacement has been completed. This MBI 5353 IC maintenance operation is completed. Were these repair maintenance steps clear for you?